Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So now guys, the story is changing fairly quickly and we're trying to keep up to uh, speed with it. The APC uh, chairmanship uh, saga is uh, what we're talking about. So I'm not going to actually give you a recap because uh, there are several videos on this uh, on the channel which you can watch. So the latest development now is the Ajimobi uh, led uh, group now that has now been given temporary charge of uh, that uh, party making their move as guys I bring you this confusion as Ajimobi led APC reverses cancellation of Edo Guba screening so it looks as though uh, there's a bit of clarity now coming to the matters now because it looks as though now that suspension of offshore mole as we uh, suspected uh, was uh, in regards to what he had done to obaseki because it looks as though now this is the first move that has been made by these people that have been put in temporary charge of the party so again the headline confusion as ajimobi led apc reverses cancellation of Edo Guba screening. So now let's now see now what latest uh, plot is playing out uh, in the APC. The Abiola Ajimobi led faction of the All Progressive Congress APC has reversed the cancellation of the Edo State Gubernatorial Screening. The Abiola Ajimobi led faction of the All Progressive Congress APC has reversed the cancellation of the Edo State Gubernatorial Screening exercise cancelled by acting APC National Chairman Victor Giadam. The ruling party is currently embroiled in a serious crisis as it now has two national chairmen, Gideon and Ajimobi, Deputy Vice Chairman South South, Hilary Ete, who addressed the media in the absence of the alien Ajimobi, announced the reversal of the cancellation of the screening. The Ajimobi-led APC faction has subsequently appointed Imo State Governor Hopu Zodima as the chairman of its Edo State Governorship primary election. The APC National Working Committee said Victor Gierdom, who earlier took over as acting national chairman of the party, is not a member of the National Working Committee of the party, having resigned his position to contest as River State Deputy Governor in 2019. So, it's, uh, I mean, if you can keep up, then please explain it to me because I am struggling to keep up now. So, my will be done is effectively what is going on within uh, that party now. So, they had suspended or disqualified Obaseki from contesting uh, the primaries to return as the Edo State Governor. And by the way, even before we go any further, it is not convention for a sitting governor or a sitting president to go to primaries and uh, contest again for the ticket. Because if he has already served one term, then he has the advantage of incumbency, which advantages him even more to return to that seat because everything is there now the people know him he has a track record with the people and he has the apparatus of the state to run his campaign so conventionally you don't really contest uh with a sitting uh governor or a president etc for a second term but they've said now that this guy has to go and do primaries they've then disqualified him uh, uh in, in, in that screening process They've then disqualified him in the screening process for that primaries, even though he was their candidate four years ago and won an election. And the things that they are disqualifying him on were the same things that they uh, passed him through four years ago. So you already see the intrigues and the sub intrigues. So they've now managed to suspend um, what's his name, Oshua Modern now as the chairman of the party. The person that was meant to take temporary charge has cancelled the primaries of our Edo State to let that screening run through. They are now suspending the person, this uh, Gideon, uh, they are now suspending the person that is uh, meant to have a temporary charge of that party uh, to install now Ajimobi, uh, Abiola Ajimobi, who by the way is in a uh, Lagos Hospital critically ill. Uh, they have now installed him as the uh, new man. But then, of course, the person that was meant to have uh, 
temporary charge. I hope you are keeping up because it's a very complex story. So the person that was meant to have temporary charge, this uh, Gideon, he had cancelled the uh, screening uh, for Edo State to uh, just clear the air and then let uh, Obaseki uh, just uh, get that ticket and just go on and uh, return as the Edo State Governor. So he had done that. But now this now new uh, Ajimobi led faction who is now being deputized by a person called something Ete because Ajimobi, as you know, is in hospital. They have now reversed that uh, cancellation to say that what obtained under Oshomole still subsists. So this is the complex story that is going on in Edo State. But then if what uh, obtained under Oshomole still subsists, then why have they suspended him as the chairman of the party in the first in instance? Intrigues, plots, and subplots. The story is so organic, it just uh, keeps on evolving. But where it falls, though, is uh, where we are looking to uh, see fairly soon because, of course, this is uh, entirely, if not large, if not entirely, then largely about the Edo State situation. So, uh, a resolution in the next few days we are anticipating. Uh, conversations in the comment section. Come tell me if you are making any sense of this because I am struggling to make sense of it. So, if you have an understanding of it, then please come explain it to the rest of us in the comment section. But before you do that, click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. The bell button notifies you every time I uh, drop a new video. Then come tell me now what you are making of this uh, a complex chess play that is going on uh, in Edo State in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section. But here I say peace.